All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the elder apostles that taught me this truth, and those of you that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being of being saved within these last days this lesson is going to be based on Yahabashai when he was freed, feeding okay a multitude with bread and fish okay so we're going to start on John 6 we're going to meet re read most of this chapter I don't usually read the scriptures like this but we're going to go to John 6 and let's jump straight to 5 when Yahweh then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him he saith unto Philip whence shall we buy bread that these may eat okay which they didn't need to do anyway but this was a test and this he said to prove him for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him. 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them. Okay. But every one of them may take a little. Okay. They, are, they would have to share it. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him. There is a lad here which have five barley loaves. And two small fishes. Okay. But what are they among so many? It wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough to sustain them. And Yahushua said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in a number, about 5,000. And Yahushua took the loaves. Right? And when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. Okay? And to the disciples, to them that were sat down. And likewise of the fishes, as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments from a main, that nothing be lost. Okay. So you have a shower, what, with his spiritual power, out of them few loaves and them few fishes, them two small loaves and five barley loaves, he made enough to what feed what thousands. Okay. And it says when they were filled, and we're going to get to the point, Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of five barley loaves which remained over and above above them and had eaten. That had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle, when those men, particular men, when they had seen the miracle, that Yahweh did said, This is of a truth. Okay, that a prophet, that the prophet that should come into the world. And these were the individuals that were they needed to see a miracle to believe. When Yahweh therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king. Okay, he departed again into the mountain himself alone. So he needed to dip because they, they were going to make him a king. And when even and that shows the humility of Yahweh. Right? And when he when evening was come, his disciples went down into the sea. Unto the sea. And entered into a ship and went over into the sea to work. Capanium, and it was dark, now dark, and Yahushua was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of great wind that blew. So when they had rolled about five or twenty, thirty furlongs, they see Yahushua walking on the sea, which was another what? A test of faith. Okay. And drawing nigh to the ship, and they were afraid. But he saith unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Again, many other times Yahushua was testing faith. Then they willingly received him into the ship. Okay. And immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. And the day following when the people which stood on the other side of the sea. Saw. Okay. That there was none other boat there. Save that one we were into. His disciples were entered. And Yahushua went not with his disciples into the boat. But that his disciples were gone away alone. How about there came other boats from Tiberias now to the place where they had did eat bread. 
after the Lord had given him thanks, given thanks, when the people therefore saw that Yahweh was not there, okay, where he was what breaking bread with them, and you could, and look, I can assure you, he was a supping with some of them as well, because that breaking bread is also what spiritually breaking bread is what this word, because the bread also represents what the word, okay. Neither his disciples, they also took shipping. So you had those that were eating that bread that saw the miracles that Yahweh them were eating that bread. And they said it, they took ship and they got on a ship and they were looking for Yahweh Shai and came to Capernaum seeking for Yahweh Shai. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when came a stone? Diver, hither. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles. They didn't see they didn't seek him because of the miracles, the wonderful works he was doing. But because he did eat of the loaves and were filled greedy. And this reminds you there's so much different circumstances. It reminds you of funerals, you may have a loved one that dies. You haven't seen these individuals for years. And now they, they come out of the woodworks. Okay? Just what some just for some free food, some drink, and you don't see them again. So is that is that same type of spirit, okay? But because you did eat of the loaves, and were filled, they were fi they were full up, and you could also again twofold. You can have that with individuals that come around just to get the knowledge and show it off, but they don't apply the knowledge, okay? Because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. So these individuals they were filled and they wanted more. Right, but they were more concerned with what the physical things than the spiritual aspect of the miracle within itself. This was the same generation that died off in the wilderness. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. So Yahushua was saying, Don't be concerned with the physical, focus on the spiritual aspect of things. The meat that leadeth to everlasting life. Okay. Give me just a minute. I'm moving a bit fast. Bear me just a minute. Alright. And where was we on verse 27? Labour not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. Which is this word which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him have the most high father sealed. When they said unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works? Of the Most High. Yahweh shall answer and send unto them. This is the work of the Most High. That ye believe. On him whom men have sent. So when men scoff at the idea of believing. Well you know that. If anybody scoffs at the idea of believing. Yahweh shall. Then you, you know that's a demon. Okay. That ye believe on him who have sent. So it's simple. You just believe on Yahweh Shai. And with you believing in your Hamashai, what miracles happen? When you have faith, miracles happen around you. They said therefore unto him, What sign shall we so then that we may see and believe thee? They wanted another sign. Hold on, they were shown a sign. Didn't your Hamashai previously to that? What did he do? He broke up what fishes, what two fishes? And four pieces of what bread, if I'm correct? And split that what made it enough for a thousand and there was still more left over. So they were still asking more well, for a sign. And you have to answer and say unto them, this is the work, bear me just a minute. I'm going to move too fast. They said therefore unto him, what sign shall we so then that we may see and believe thee? You notice how it said that we may see and believe thee. So it wasn't enough for, the, for them to, um. it wasn't enough, look the loaves weren't enough for them. Okay, so it shows you no matter how much miracles you're doing with some of our people, they just won't believe. What do is their work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Okay. But when you read Deuteronomy, I think it's what? 8 and 18, it tells you about that. When you have to send to them, verily I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gave you that true bread. From heaven which is Yahweh Shai. For the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven. So this Yahweh Shai actually telling them what that bread is. And giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him Lord. Evermore give us this bread. 
So just by them saying that, they were carnal. And Yahweh said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Because you're going to be sustained. Okay, bear me just a minute. You're going to be sustained. Okay, with this word. This is the bread. Okay. Bear me just a minute. See if we can quickly get this. All right, all right, all right. I am the bread of life. Let's type this in. Let's type in this word bread. Strong's G740. Artas. Artas. Okay. Food. Food that substantiates what the soul. Okay. That's what the bread is. That was the bread that you have a shy had. The food that what substantiates what your soul. That that living bread. Okay. That living bread. Not that physical bread. That that what the um molds. Okay. For the bread of the mold says he which comes down from heaven and give life unto the world. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? When said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us his bread in your house. I said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believe in me shall never thirst. Because with your belief in Yahweh Shai, what you're always going to be eating of what this word, and you're always going to be sustained. Okay, this is food and it's water. Okay, but I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. And they saw the miracles. They didn't just see Yahweh Shai, they saw the miracles as well and they believe not. Right? All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that hath sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that all, all which have given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And them, them same members are being raised up at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believe on him may have everlasting life. See if the Son, in other words, acknowledge the Son. And I will raise him up at the last day. Okay. Wherein the Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. This is why you have Israelites that are just carnal. And they said, I is not to this Yahweh the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then he say if I came down from heaven? So they, they didn't acknowledge him of being the son of what the most high. Yahweh therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not amongst yourselves, no man can come to me. Except the father which have sent me, sent me draw him. So Yahweh was letting him know. Look none of you can come to me. Except don't marvel. Except you were drawn to me. You were, you were drawn to me by the heavenly father. To get this. And I will raise him up at the last day. Okay. It is written in the prophets. And they shall be taught of the most high. Every man therefore that have heard. Have learned of the father. Cometh to me. Not that any man have seen the father. Yahweh said that he which is of the most high. Have seen the father verily i say unto you he that believe on me have everlasting life i am the bread of life okay so you have a he is the bread of life okay which is what substantiates our soul because without you have a shy you don't have life so he is that bread okay the bread that don't perish the bread that don't decay your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. So that bread obviously didn't sustain them. This is the bread that coming down from heaven. That a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat this bread, he shall live forever. So that bread that was coming down that manna was a representation of Yahweh Shai. And the bread that I give is my flesh and I will give for the life of the world. Okay. And when you go further down, what they were murmuring and they were striving amongst each other, say, how could this be? Okay, that's why there's levels to this truth. And those same individuals, what they were murmuring, okay, because they just didn't have faith. So basically, this went into two, two joint, it's like two joint lessons. The bread, okay, yeah, he fed them with what, loads of bread, okay, but they only came to him, why, for their miracles, 
okay you had those that believe and you had those that didn't believe and you had those that were caught up on the old way okay the old manner which the actual manner represented what you have a shy that living manner that living threat so with this lesson i hope this is edifying and until the next time shut up one